I don't know if you guys have officially met Wilbert. He's in his box right now. Wilbert, you going to come and say hello? Hello, love. Hello, sweet prince. His name is Wilbert. Wilbert, honey, it's a camera. You got, I don't have traits for you. He's, he's a full lofty rabbit. Hold on, let me get a full picture of you. Say hello, Wilbert. But well, yeah, this is Wilbert. I've been getting a lot of comments and questions about people asking, how do you start a webtoon? Can you mentor me? Can you show me how to make a webtoon? I got you. I want to show you. If you want to make a webtoon and everything is overwhelming and you've been watching tutorials and videos back to back, but you've never initiated because it's too many steps, you just, you, you just, just watch this, watch me, and then maybe this might help because I think the issue might be is you are taking too big of a bite and you need to take sm small tiny bites. So this is going to be a whole series of multiple videos. If you're like, hey, I want to know how to do it all at once. I don't want a whole series. I got an ebook that you can download down below or go to my blog. I share all of my process steps on creating a webtoon for free or check out my YouTube channel where I have multiple videos sharing all of that on my process and how to make a webtoon. But anyways, we're gonna, let me let me show you how I do the webtoon process. We're going to take it step by step. At the end of this video, I'm gonna give you an action task that you must complete. And then I'm gonna ask you if you finished it when I upload the next video. So don't go trying to cheat your homework. Let's start. This is my webtoon, Catch Me, Find Me, Love Me. I'm using Clip Studio Paint. If you don't have Clip Studio Paint, we can cover the whole webtoon process, or at least my webtoon process using Ibis paint and Metabon paint and jump paint in other videos. Right now, this series is going to focus on those who have Clip Studio paint. Again, you don't need Clip Studio paint if you cannot afford Clip Studio paint. Just, yeah. We're going to cover three steps, okay? And at the end of the video, I want you to have done these three steps as well. And then in the next video, we're going to cover the next steps, okay? I feel like I'm yelling, but I'm excited. So let me just, let me, let me reel it back. Let me reel it back. I'm yelling, I'm yelling. I'm sorry, I'm yelling. First step, you got Clip Studio Paint open. This is what I do. You don't have to do this. There's multiple ways to do this, but this is what I like to do. I go to File, I go to New. Some people like to use this one. I also like to use this one. I click on that. And then for me, I like to do this file size. There are other file sizes you can use. There are these ones that you can use. What's the difference? This one is longer. The one I use is shorter. Why? Because I just like to do one to two panels per page. Some people like to draw all of their like 60 panels on this page or 50 panels, 30, 20, however many. For me, I like to do one to two or maybe two to three panels because I get overwhelmed easy. <laughs> so anyways, after that, I do about like 15 pages. I can take away and add on if I need to. The way I do my webtoon is I like to work in a multiple page format instead of just like one file size that has like all 60 or all 20 of my panels. I chop those panels up into multiple pages, so. Okay, from there you're gonna get something that looks kind of like this. I have the stuff filled in. This is what I mean when I say I draw two to three panels per page goes like this. If you're like, hey, how does that look like the vertical scrolling? We'll worry about that in a later video. Right now, we just need to focus on beating the blank page by starting. So go ahead and just double tap. We're going to pretend this is blank. So far, I showed you one step. File, new, and then I want you to click that and then pick your size that you feel comfortable using. Either you can do what I do, which is the shorter size, and I do two to three. If you're like, I would just want to do one file with one long size, you can go here and just do that as well. Or just, you could do whatever you like, but I do the shorter size and I have multiple files. But yeah, that's your first step, okay? That's your first step. We created our webtoon canvas. That's all I'm sharing in this step. <laughs> I don't want you guys overwhelmed and I think that's the issue that I struggle with. I'm turning around this way. I think that's the issue that I personally struggle with a lot is the decision burnout, too many choices, too many options, trying to like prepare like 10 million steps ahead and then it's like man I got 10 million steps I gotta do, I can't start this. So that's all I'm showing right now, that's your homework, action step time. I want you to do exactly what I just did or something similar to that. Create your webtoon canvas. You can either use what I use, which is 1600 pixels wide by 4800 pixels long, or you can use whatever preset template is already available, or you can use whatever size you want to use because webtoon canvas, they resize it for you when you upload it, but that's for a different video. 
the reason why I do a bigger size is because the lines, I like how they aren't as blurry, you know, and my computer can handle it. So, yeah. If Feel free to leave your questions and comments down below. I'm, I know I didn't cover a whole bunch, but that's our first action step. Create your canvas. Create your canvas. That's your task. It's your homework. Make your canvas. See, this is why I can't be a teacher because I get excited and my excitement seems like aggression and it's just like, oh, why are you so scary? Like, I'm not a teacher. I'm chaotic. I'm chaos. Let's go start this webcam. <laughs>